In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can map a drive from your VMware workstation directly to your computer. Hi, my name is Salhali and welcome back to my channel. So in this case scenario, I'm going to use uh, this radius backup machine. So I'm just going to power on this one first and then I will map the drive first i will show you all the files in uh, this machine and then i will map into my computer the drive so we can see all the files in our computer so there are like several methods if you want to copy some files uh, there are different tools related to your protocol what you're using ftp or sftp so in linux case scenarios i use sftp which is uh, the ssh protocol with port 22 and uh, you use win scp software to copy files from uh, that uh, virtual machine or that linux server to your computer but in this case i'm showing you how you can map that drive directly to your computer so if this operating system is loading okay so the operating system is loaded let me uh, show you the files so here you can see we have a folder called radius manager let me go over there and show you the files you can see uh, like folders and files as well and it's under var www radius manager so let's mount that drive so i can uh, copy all these files to my computer so i'm just going to uh, power off as it is well, that's a ni uh, not the nice way to power on off the machine but <laughs> this is a test machine so i don't care but in production you always put in the command to shut down okay so under hard disk i'm just going to click on map and uh, it will show me to choose uh, what uh, vmdk i want to use and what should be the uh drive ladder so uh, i'm gonna say q because i don't think it's uh i have already a q drive so open drive in windows explorer after mapping yes if i check this one as i click ok uh, it's going to pop up that drive so i just clicked ok it's gonna take few seconds to load it took like 25 seconds and now you can see it's connected and i can disconnect this as well and if i go to my computer you can see i can see a q drive here but as it's a linux based drive it's not ntfs so that's why i'm not uh, able to like click or see the size of this one because linux uses a different file system than ntfs so let's try mounting another i'm gonna quickly mount a windows drive and i'll show you okay so this is a virtual machine for windows i'm just going to uh, map this one to drive s and uh, as i click ok it's gonna take few seconds but now you can see it's showing me in the s drive and uh, i'm able to see and click on that because it's ntfs it's from windows but it, if uh, a drive is from any other operating system it's not going to be ntfs so you can see i can click on that i can go to windows i can go to users whatever i have uh, in that machine program files whatever i installed on that machine so that that's the way you uh, map a drive from vmware workstation i just wanted to show you everything so i think this video is uh, going to be a little bit lengthy but i wanted to explain everything in this video and i showed you if it's a linux machine or a windows machine how you can map a drive directly to your computer if you like this video please make sure you hit the like button uh, i see like i'm getting good views but there are like few likes on the videos if you like my efforts if you like my videos please make sure to click on the like button i'm putting all of my efforts to teach you guys and uh, thank you so much for your support i'll see you in the next video bye bye